Hey everybody, it's Nico Ball and I'm back to talk a little bit about stuff that I have found out on the Leandro Low case. Yesterday, an article came out on Globo in Brazil letting us know that his murder has been officially a charge of third degree murder in Brazil. Now, third degree murder is a little bit different. I was actually confused and had to reach out to some friends to figure out what was going on. When I first read the article, I thought that maybe he was just at first officially being charged with the crime that we all know that he committed. But what actually happened is in this time since he committed the crime, he has been trying to allege that it was in self-defense, that Leandro Lowe had attacked them, they had had issues before, and that he was in a mato leal and feared from his life. As we all know, Leandro Lowe did have him in a mato leal or a mount. I'm not sure if he was actually in a choke. And then he asked him, are we done yet? And then he let him back up, in which case, at which point he got up, took out his gun, and shot Leandro. When I first heard the news in America, I thought that he had left the scene, maybe gone to his car, and then got his gun. So I reached out to some friends in Brazil to get the story straight. Apparently what would happen first, or apparently what had happened first, is that Enrique had had his gun the whole time. He was in a bar, a pagode, in Sao Paulo, and anybody that has a gun in Brazil, and I now know that it's not just militaries, but Bolsonaro has loosened the gun laws to be similar to America, where anybody that doesn't have a criminal background can apply to have a gun and a concealed carry. And when you have a gun or a concealed carry, whether you're a civilian or in the military, when you go into a place like a bar or a show, where Leandro was, then you have to register your gun. So the murderer registered the gun that he used to commit the murder, and it is rumored that there were about 28 registered guns in the facility at the night, um, on the night that he was murdered. So yes, he did have his gun on him when Leandro Lowe assaulted him. Not, I'm sorry. He did have his gun on him when he got into the first altercation with Leandro Lowe that occurred because the defendant or the murderer was the one that went and grabbed a bottle from Leandro Lowe's table. Let's not forget, this person is a purple belt. So they know exactly who Leandro Lowe was and he knew his little skinny ass wasn't gonna beat him in a fight. So he definitely went into this with some idea of I'm gonna start some crap and it's gonna be okay because I'm armed and he's not. Luckily, the government is not taking that self-defense plea into consideration. These three counts mean that he can be charged for an extended period of time. In Brazil, there is no life sentences. So that means the maximum sentence of murder is 30 years. Most people getting out way earlier than the maximum sentence because of how things are in Brazil, especially if you're in the military. So the fact that he got three counts means that they can kind of extend it a little bit longer. I'm not sure if it means they can give him 30 for each of the years. But basically, this is good news. It means that we're not getting bullshitted by the Brazilian military police that are trying to cover up for somebody that has clearly acted in a way that is not self-defense.